I am Marcel Oliveira, I'm from Brazil. I have been tattooing more or less 20 years and right now it's normally I do more black and gray piece. Uh, I love to do shading, I love the contrast, I love to do like textures and stuff like that, that's what I like to do. For that piece I use a, a black wash and a little bit gray wash but not too much uh, because I think that's so much better when you use just one color for mix. Um, I know that sometimes you're gonna see almost the same but a long time you're gonna see the big difference. And it's normally I use the same workstation. Um, it's normally six tones, six levels of black wash. Uh, two types of black because I like to use black line and another type of black for color pack um, I use it two tones two levels of gray wash and white If you want to be a great tattoo artist You have to press for an hour and an hour. It's like a smooth shading Try just to understand the, the design try to understand good pictures because if you want to do amazing tattoo, you need amazing design. Or it's like you need amazing pictures, okay? For my tattoos, the my realism, I never use an outliner. I just use mag for everything. So I just use round liner for small spots. Or it's like a small detail, but usually I do almost 100% of the piece use just magnet. And it's the most important you use a good machine, good needle, good ink and stuff like that. And you know, when you talk about realism, you have to understand that you need to work so many hours in the same spot. So that's the reason that you need everything is really good, do you know? Um, the needle has to be amazing needle because the needle you have to understand that you have to work so many hours in the same spot you know I don't like too much um, clean so many times my tattoos because when you use too much water uh, you're gonna change the temperature of the skin that's not good for a piece you know you have to understand that everything has to be smooth. Your movement has to be smooth. When you clean your tattoo, has to be smooth. You know what I mean? So, especially for black and gray, for realism piece, you have to work pretty soft. If it's possible, try to ask for your customer for moisturize the skin some days before. That's gonna help a lot. And always let's remember that you need a good stencil, okay? You need a good design. You have to do all the lines, all the details, all the shape of shading and something like that if you wanna create amazing portraits. Portrait is always hard to do because you know it's a lot of detail, a lot of tones, a lot of everything that you have to pay so much attention. But yeah, that's also. For a smooth shading, never, never do circles. Always you have to use the movement just one way and pendle movement. Circles you have to do just for color packing. Sometimes you need to do because you know we have color packing, but normally for shading it's just one way.
For that piece, I used two stencils, one just for face, another one for shirt. I think that helped me because that piece I did during the seminar that my focus had to be the face. So after I finished the face, I put new stencil, just the, the shirt, and I finished my piece. You can do whatever you want, you just need to understand that you can flip, you can you can uh, create more than one stencil, so you, you need to feel what's gonna help you, you know. For the shirt, I use it just gray. Of course, I I use the mix solution for because the the inks too thicker and. For black and gray, I don't like to use like that, you know, I have to mix my ink. For the shirt, I use the gray because I would really love to see looks different tone, you know. When you create your gray using just black, you have one tone like, it's amazing, but if you, if you want to do something different between face and shirt you can use different types of ink sometimes you can use a uh, chromatic colors like you can you can mix black gray and some colors for that piece I just use gray on shirt and black on the face I prefer to do white ink for the last part because you know white is always hard to do and I don't like when I see another color mixer with white you can do if you have a good technique you, you don't worry about that you can do but just in case try to do for after you finish the black that's what I prefer to do and also it's gonna be safer for you Always try to use your reference uh, in the same direction of your tattoo because that's gonna help you for your check the small detail, the shape of the shading, everything. Because if you use your stencil in different direction, that's not really good. You know, when you talk about realism, it's just a copy. You're never gonna create something. So you need the reference the same way you know what I mean my all black and gray pieces I like to do one background because you know I don't use outline so it's most important create don't doesn't matter if it's gonna be something complicated with a lot of detail or just something simple like a shading around but the background is most important especially when you talk about portraits please don't forget to do the highlights the highlights create more volume and helps for you to create the, the depth okay so the highlight is really nice you have to do enjoy the white ink for the smooth shading your movement have to be slow but if you wanted to see the marks of the needle you can work a little bit faster that makes like a texture so when I do that in my backgrounds of course depends the type of design that I'm gonna do but normally I like to do the background a little bit different a 
another thing I like to to replace my needle after like three hours working I think this helps me do to do the, the, the tattoo is smooth because you know after more or less three hours it's too much just for the needle you can replace that needle and that that's gonna be awesome I am Marcel Rivera and I am in Tattoo TV